I just finished my first uh, game, um, AWI game, using the rules Land of the Free, uh, written by, I believe it's pronounced Joe Crone. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Uh, and I just want to give uh, a, a quick tutorial on setup. Uh, this rule set can seem a little intimidating. And the reason it can seem a little intimidating is it's unique and it's, and it's innovative. Uh, but once you actually uh, get it down, um, it's actually pretty straightforward and allows for a lot more, I guess I would say, allows for a lot more um, tactical choices than what might be typical in, the, in most AWI rule sets. But the first thing you need to do is you need to fill out two charts. And uh, the book has these. I got these from the Facebook site. But you need, to, you need to fill out the charts for your commanders. And you need to fill out the charts for your elements or your regiments or companies or whatever you want to call them, basically, just depending on the skill you're doing. And what you do here is you first... I guess this is actually in some ways the most complicated part of the process, but uh, the first thing you do is you decide what you're going to have. And if you look at this, for instance, a tiny element, there's statistics for a tiny element versus a large element. And you can also create very large elements, and I'll show that in a second. And one of the nice things about this game is it really doesn't matter how all your figures are, are based uh, because... Uh, you just need to have, you know, when you put them in, in line, you know, one, you need to have a group that, oh, this is large, oh, this is tiny, oh, this is medium. So in this particular game set, what I did is, well, like for each, you can see these Hessians are mounted in three, groups of three. These these soldiers here are mounted in groups of four. Uh, and what I did is I had essentially five stands as a large regiment, six stands as a large regiment with additional ranks, um, four stands as a medium regiment, uh, th three stands would have been a small regiment if I had used it, and I had some skirmishers, and those were tiny. So, and you know, here I have two two mountain and two. There was another. I had some. We had some Jaegers that were actually four individual figures, and it all worked just fine. So, there's a point system for that. So. You can see how many points they get. So, for instance, a tiny element is only 10, a large element is 35. And then when you get to the the next thing is, well, what kind of troops are they? And just to give you an example, if you decide to go with, um, with Hessians. Uh, Hessians, they cost an extra five points. Uh, infantry elements only, only, and you get German ranks. And what German ranks does is this looks at, you know, their their lack of desire to be in ranks of, of two, as most of the armies were at their, during this war. One less maneuver and fires as if using the concentrated volley order. And, of course, you have to look at another chart to see what that all means sometimes. So um, concentrated fire is essentially the ability to um, concentrate fire is the ability to re-roll missed, missed rolls. And so they, you know, they've got better firepower, but also what it means is um, one less maneuver means that they do, they get one less action that they can perform during the battle. So essentially, like I said, to start up, you go through all your units, and you decide what they're going to be. Um, I had like the 17th foot in one, one, it was one element, a grenadier detachment, royal artillery. Uh, then I had some Hessian. I had fusiliers and regulars, which are basically, the fusiliers are basically just the same, <laughs> essentially. They're, they're, you know, they're not grenadiers. Had some Jaegers, had light dragoons. And on the other side, I, I won't bother to go through all that. But what you do is, based off of... The element size, that will give you most of these statistics. Maneuver, combat, discipline, morale, action points, and, and special things that they can do. And as you're doing that, you will note that, like I said, said before, there's so many points 
for um, the size of the elements. So, you know, you, you, you get those points from the element chart. And if you're using any specialty troops, you're using that chart, that will tell you how much it costs for the, you know, the, you know, specialty. And if you want to make like the Hessians elite, well, now they get, you know, Esprit de Corps, for instance, and you know, that costs five points. And you add up all those points, and that will tell you, you know, how many points the other side gets to. In this case, it was 245 points for the British Army. So, again, this is actually literally the most confusing part of the game. And it doesn't have to be, because if you don't really worry about points, or if you're looking at a historical scenario, then all you really have to do is, is write down the statistics for the unit size, and then write down any special abilities that they have, essentially. So it doesn't have to be complicated. So the next thing that has to be done is you need your leaders, right? And you're gonna have, you know, you're going to have your force commander is the over is like the army commander, uh, and the um, group commanders are like brigade commanders essentially. And for them, you roll a dice and. The way that works is if you roll, I'm just checking here a second to see I have it written down someplace. So if you roll a one, basically you get an incompetent commander. If you roll a two or three, you get a competent commander. Four to five is skilled and six is highly skilled. And what that will determine is how many, how many, uh, command points they get each and um each turn it's it's deter it's it's um reallocated this is something a, ga a game player aid could produce by john freetag or freytag um which kind of shows the results so for instance an incompetent commander uh is going to be rolling one d3 dice so one one basically standard die in which a one or a two is a one uh three or uh a three or four is a two, and a five or a six is a three. And if you have an incompetent commander, it's a D3 minus one. So if you roll a one, he's got zero points. That's one minus one, for instance. On the other end, a highly skilled commander rolls D3 plus one points. So if you roll three sixes, um, <laughs> you're getting three plus three plus three plus one. So you can see that the difference range, the range there. Um, that can happen. Um, so that is the setup. Uh, just to get you know get the game started, the forces that you need, and I will do another tutorial on the actual gameplay.